This is the last section in this chapter 13, 13.6 on cylinders and quadric surfaces. Okay, so cylindrical surfaces, uh, well, when you think of the word of the word cylinder, um, this is this is most likely what comes to your mind, right? Like a, a solid whose base is a has a circular shape and just extends vertically, right? Well, it turns out that when it comes to graph these kinds of cylindrical surfaces, uh, beside well, on top of the other 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 surfaces in space that we already know how to graph, which is spheres and planes. Well, so the, this third type uh, are called cylindrical surfaces or simply cylinders. Or, and that's because, uh, again, so the, in this case, we have a circular base, and this circular base just extends, all right? Extends to a certain, to, into a certain direction and create well this solid in this case for example let me give you a couple of pictures so here we have a like a cosine function all right but notice how these lines right here that are called uh well, i forgot the word for this okay let me open. these lines right here are called are like guides actually are guides to that are perpendicular to the graph that we are plotting and extend in the parallel direction to one of the axes and in this case well because this extends this way these are really cylinders i know it's weird to think of a cylinder in the form of a cosine in the shape of a cosine or a cylinder in the form or in the shape of a, of a parabola but this is really it's really a cylinder all right well, so in this case, uh, well, the official definition is given a curve C and a plane P and a line L not in P. Those are these lines right here. Uh, a cylinder is, is the surface consisting of all lines parallel to L that pass through C, which is that, uh, that, that curve. In this case, the cosine or the parabola, all right? Yes. Uh, you mentioned that the lines that are um, perpendicular to the main one mm -hmm. um, are parallel to X. Is there any case where they can be parallel to Z or Y? Yes, they will. They will be parallel, and depending on how the equations are are uh, are defined in this case. So, because in this case we could have have this cosine actually being plotted over here, you know, in in the X Z plane. But these lines would have been, in fact, the cylinder would extend to the y direction. So, so that's the case here. Well, so let's sketch the surfaces represented by the by each equation right here. Well, what do we have? Y equals x squared. Well, that doesn't look like anything 3D, does it? Well, uh, so this is what we're going to do. So notice in this case, number one. There's no C. There's no, no Z variable in this case. All right? So that means that this will be, well, Y equals X squared describes a parabola, but in this case, it's a parabola in the X, Y plane. So let's plot, let's draw our 3D, 3D graph. All right? That's a... Uh, x, y, and z. Well, in this case, what do we have? So suppose, number one, first of all, uh, my advice is to see the projection, the, the projection graph in the plane that we're plotting this, like in this case, we have a uh, y equals x squared in the x, y plane. So that is the x, y plane, the usual plane that we will be working in pretty much our entire math, all these math classes, right? So, and in this case, it works to have, in a way, some sort of a, of a bird's eye view to see this x, y plane. See what I'm saying here? And well, in this case, well, in the x, y plane is this x and this is y. Our parabola would look like this in the x, y plane, all right? How would it look in 3D right here? Well, it would look like this all right 
in the XY plane. And well, to make this look like a solid, I'm going to copy this graph. And in this case, I'm going to draw another one at a higher position and the Z, on the Z, along the z-axis, all right? And well, yes, well, this peak, this is not going to be very perfect to draw. And well, what do we have? We have a parabola. The, uh, a salt well a surf as a surface in the shape of a parabola going in the z direction well um, a, 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 a tip that I could give you about how they're going to look okay which variable is missing in this first example so this solid is extended in the direction of the missing variable we could we could think of of it like this now well you, would you like to see a better picture well I have something here so uh, it's really hard to draw. It's hard to draw. Yes, it's hard to draw. That that's why I have GeoGebra here. And what do we have? Well, so here we have the graph of y equals to x squared. All right. So okay, let me move this graph in this perspective. Okay. <laughs> For whatever reason, it doesn't let me. Let me see if I have my mouse. No, I don't have my mouse. Uh, okay. So this is the x-axis. Actually, no, I don't have labels here. X-axis, y-axis, and the blue axis is the z-axis. And again, we have this parabola in this case extended in the in the z-axis which is the missing variable in our equation let's look at the other example uh, for the next example we have x squared plus z squared okay what is this number one which variable is missing y so no no y in this case well that means we would be working on the x z plane all right so, in this case, x, y, and z, well, we're going to, I'm going to draw a circle, try and draw a circle, but in this case, not in the x, y plane like we did in the previous example. In this case, it's going to be using the x, z plane. So, that's one circle, and well, again, because this equation is missing the y variable we are going to extend that circle and turn it into a solid into a surface along the axis with the letter that is missing in the equation which is the y all right and we're going to get this all right so they, well, this is legitimately a cylinder, right? Not like the weird cylinders we were talking about before. Okay, and well, how about we do GeoGebra instead? Because this is not a not the prettiest picture here. I'm going to change the equation here, and uh, I need to open this. Mm -hmm. 